my hair, as you can tell, is so damaged, and I'm so sick of it being damaged. It's still gonna be damaged when I cut it. It's because I like dyed my hair so much, and my natural hair is starting to come back, which is making me very happy. I hope like a year from now, it's like completely back. I think like my hair grows pretty fast, so I think that by the winter time, um, if I just keep cutting my hair short and like trimming it, it will come back. Um, but I am here to cut it. I've watched a million YouTube videos. I have cut my hair before, so it's not like I don't have experience, but I did a very bad job. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but it's not cut great at all. Um, I did the whole ponytail method when I cut it in the front, and that doesn't work, so don't do that. But I did watch this video, this video that I'm still watching. I'll link it down below. She, her hair looks really good. It's the exact length that I want my hair, that short. So I'm going to try doing that and I'm going to film it for you guys to see what happens. I'm honestly like so scared. Um, but that's why I'm not because it's hair and it grows back and like why not. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell so you get notified every single time I post. Leave a like and a comment and let's just get right on into it. So like look at these pieces. Like what is that? What is this? Like what is that? <laughs> Um, but anyways, I'm starting by combing my hair, and I'm gonna actually straighten it because I have the world's thickest hair. Like, it doesn't- it might not look thick on camera, but it's thick, and I have a lot of it, and it's frizzy and fluffy and big, and if it's not- I straighten it every single day, so if I- I want to cut it when it's straight, so then I can, like, actually see what it's gonna look like, versus cutting it when it's wet, you know? Um, so I'm just gonna do that really quick. Mm -hmm. like she used in the video but I have these ones so we will see I know that the back got cut a lot longer than the front so the front I don't even want that much shorter I mean I want it to like right here preferably look at all my split ends god I'm like cringing at myself it hurts to watch this Okay guys, you know what? I think I'm literally gonna go to the store. Literally, I'm gonna go to Sally's really quick and buy little rubber bins and hair cutting scissors because <sighs> this is stressing me out. I don't have little rubber bands. Here's a quick before of my hair. It's horrible. It's so just there's like a little like not straight part right there. I didn't even realize, but um yeah, this is what my hair looks like before. The bottoms obviously aren't straight. My goal is to get it actually straight across. And I kind of want to go for a long bob hairstyle. Um, but yeah, so that's just a little before. I obviously, like, okay, I also went to Sally's to, or Walmart to go get um, little black hair ties because I didn't have these. But I also want to, like, make a very clear preface that I'm not a professional. I don't do hair. I don't even have a hair cutting scissors. I'm literally using my eyebrow scissors. <laughs> I can find them. I'm literally using these little tiny scissors because I don't have them. So I know that I'm not a professional. So we're just going to keep it that. I'm not trying to claim to be one or anything like that. I'm literally just like don't want to spend $50 at a hair salon because they never cut my hair how I want it. And I always tell them not to give me layers and they always give me layers and I just like hate it. And so I just want my hair the way that I want it. <laughs> so I'm going to cut it the way that I want it. And I'm not good. But I'm hoping to get better over time. And I also have these like random like short pieces. I think it's just because my hair is so damaged. Well, this has always been there my whole life. But like down here. It's like weird. Um, so I'm trying to do like honestly collarbone length. So like something like 
this, this length probably. Anyways, let's just get round started. And the video that I'm like referencing, the video that I'm following for this, I'm gonna leave in the description bar because I watched like 80,000 of these and this is the only video where like she shows her whole head in a 360 view so you can tell that it comes out good. And if you can't tell, my I like cut my hair last time, it was like this long. And I put it into ponytails and cut it across, which was a horrible idea, um, but it's fine. I'm just gonna start by really combing my hair to make sure there's absolutely no knots in them, in them, in it. And also that my hair is parted the way that I normally part it. This, and then we're gonna start with the first rubber bands. I'm gonna start by getting a first section of hair um, right in like the part that's in the front of my ear, if that makes sense. So I'll kind of just show you. Front of my ear. Okay, then I'm going to try to figure out the length that I want, which... this video and I'm like realizing <laughs> I did such a bad job explaining what I was doing I was so scared and so focused on cutting my hair that like half the time I forgot that I was filming oh my gosh sorry about the glare. half the time I forgot I was filming so I'm so sorry but what I'm doing exactly in this clip is I'm sectioning off part of my head so I can put this side of my head into three different sections um, which is why I put it in the ponytail and I honestly have no idea if I'm gonna explain what else that I'm doing So I might have to like come on here and explain but I'm very sorry And also the video down below is a very informative video. This is just me documenting my journey and my Absolute fear, but this just proves that anyone can cut their hair, but yeah Okay guys, so in the clip you're about to watch I didn't explain it in the video But basically what I'm doing is I'm starting by putting my hair into two giant sections and I'm gonna like put one of these sections away in a ponytail and then start focusing on the first section so then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to divide it this half into three different sections so you're going to take that first half by your ear right here into one section and then you're going to put this in the back and then put that into two sections but you want to make sure you're leaving it in the back because if you move it to the front it's not going to be straight across so you want to make sure that you're tying these in the back in the back of your head so that's basically what i'm doing and then you'll also see me adjusting my rubber bands because if you're looking at it from the back of your head you want the back two to be the shortest and then you want it to gradually get longer as you go to the front so angle it down like this
And worst comes to worst, this is 23 minutes. This is gonna be so annoying to edit. Like, so annoying. <sighs> okay, here goes nothing, I guess. <laughs> I mean, here goes back. So I'm not that mad. Wait, though, I'm scared. This is gonna be like way shorter than I want it to be. Because I only want it to go to my collarbone. And this is gonna make it go like. Ugh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Okay, I'm gonna cut this side first and then, like, see what it looks like. You know? See if I like the length? Is that a bad idea? Well, it's only this much I'm cutting off, so it's not like it's bad if I go like right in the middle. Oh my god. Yolo. Wow. This hair is so stupidly damaged and blonde literally blonde and damaged okay i'm gonna also make sure that this is straight i should have made a video last time i did it because it was such a fail so it would have been really funny to look back on okay let's see if i like this length It's very, very short, but it's cute. Do we like this length? Is this like a look? Guys, I'm really scared. I've never cut my hair this short before, like all around. That's like so dramatic for me, so I'm like very scared. Well, I guess here goes nothing. It is exactly the length that I wanted to my collarbone. It does look a lot like, okay. I probably should have checked if they were even before taking it out, but like that is not even. Oh my god, I already regret this so much. It's fine. You know what? You live and you learn. <laughs> uh. Guys, I don't know if I should keep doing this. I don't know if this is a, a good idea or not. The side is definitely too short. BRB. Hi guys, it's the next day, and as you can see, my hair is short. I finished cutting it, and it looks so good. I'm honestly so impressed by how it turned out. I, after I cut the first ones, I stopped filming because I got really scared that I cut it too short. Because, I mean, this is very short. So I FaceTimed my friends because I needed moral support. Um, so I didn't film the end of it, and I'm very sorry, but I will show you guys, like, what it looks like. So as you can see in the back, it's literally so straight, and it looks like I, like... I went to go get my hair cut and they cut it like this like i'm very impressed by how it turned out um and hopefully my natural roots could grow back soon but yeah i hope you guys liked this if you did make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the bell so you're notified every single time i post leave a like and a comment and i'll see you later bye bye